So Stephen, we're looking at one of the sheets from the Codex Arundel, uh, which I think exemplifies the, the theme of the exhibition, which is Leonardo's study of motion, and in particular his study of the, the movement of water. Yes, and in fact the drawing that we have here on the right is of the River Arno, and it was when uh, Leonardo was working as a master of water for the um, Florentine government. And one of the projects he was working on was altering the course of the River Arno, um, both because it was subject to flooding, it flooded um, the city, um, and also um, uh, in order to find a, a construct an outlet to the sea. But that's a wedge which is um, shaping the current of the river. And this was done in the open. It, he would have done this um, while walking along the banks of the Arno, trying to track its course. Um, and the red chalk um, that he did the drawing in is, is, is typical of um, Leonardo's drawings in, in this way. On the same sheet as the Arno drawing, which he did outside, um, and the mirror handwriting in red chalk, in the same chalk that he did the, the Arno drawing with, um, we can see that there's another piece of writing, this time in ink, and this time in the standard direction from left to right. This is a very interesting indication of how Leonardo used the sheets in his notebooks on different occasions and over different times. These um, uh, notes are household accounts and they're dated right at the top, 1504. Why were they written um, like this? I mean, it shows us that Leonardo was capable of writing um, in the standard um, direction of handwriting. Um, and presumably it was because they could be, they were notes which could be shared by the rest of the household. These were accounts and also the final sentence records the arrival of a new student who's going to work with Leonardo as an apprentice. So they were records for the household which everybody could read and consult.